So this is a bit of an update on the Emerson. I did an installation video a while ago and now we've added a second heater. So previously the power has been diverted to the immersion heater for hot water and now we've added a stage two. So once the immersion heater is up to temperature the power is diverted to a storage heater and then when that storage is up to temperature power is then exported to the grid. So let's just have a look at the screen. There we go. So as we can see 5.9 kilowatts today so far. Anyway if you you have to pull the fuses etc to add an extra heater. So when you put everything back together and put the fuses back in, the Emerson doesn't recognize that there's a second heater being connected. So you just have to go into this software and tell it what's going on. It's relatively simple, um, but there's a point where there's a password which could be a bit confusing. But it doesn't need to be. So let's just go and have a look now. So here we are. So there's a, an icon here showing text perhaps, something like that. Information. So we press the tick box. And then we're into the main menu. So press the down box. Priorities. So if you want the heater to come on first, you can change the priority there. Advanced settings. Press the tick. Now, there's the passcode. So just go through it. Just keep pressing this tick. If you haven't set a code, then just keep pressing that and it will go through. Heater type 1, heater type 2. Let's go down. And then it gives you the choices on the floor, pool, none. Of course, when I went into this software to tell it about the second heater, that's what it showed none. Immersion, immersion, heater. Okay, so we're happy with that. Just looking back here, we have a minimum export. Now this, if you look here, I'm going to go up 50, 100, 150, 200 and it goes all the way up to 4 kilowatt. This is here for several reasons. Um, one of them being, in some countries, householders have to export some electricity. In other ones, they are fined if they export electricity and of course the other side is the moral issue if you're getting pay, paid fits which is supposed to have some export quantity in it some people will think that they should and you can set it here now i'm just going to set this at 250 watts but it goes up a long way but i'm just going to go tick and then come out and we're exporting 0.2 of a kilowatt and we're putting 0.2 of a kilowatt into the immersion heater. So if I go back now, to advanced settings, I don't know why that happened, here we go, um, minimum export. So. Oh, got it on naught. Happy with that. Now it's four going to the immersion heater. So you see how that works. Once you've gone into this, it will go into it straight away uh, for a while. 
and then it will go back to the fact that you need to put the code in or the absence of code. On the heater type 3 that controls the relay and in the manual it shows how this relay can be used to add a third heater. So when heater 2 switches off because it's up to temperature then the relay can then switch an extra heater in but effectively what you're doing is you're wiring the heater heater 2 through this relay through the common and the normally closed and the third heater between the common and the normally open it's in the book so you've just got to think about that a bit. Let's get out of there. There's the check period. This is set for 15 minutes. Every 15 minutes the Emerson will go, Oh, has the immersion heater come back on? Does it want power? I'll just check. So that's what that does. There's the relay function. And there's various other bits. Anyway, hopefully that will help you if you want to add an extra heater to the Emerson having already set it up with just an immersion heater previously.